exciting times in the Knox family as we have a new pad. Come and have a look around my new seven figure house. I should say the first figure is a zero. I don't know if that counts. Regular readers will know that I thoroughly enjoy a bit of gardening and I'm very excited by the growing opportunity in this garden. We've got a herb garden over there. This guy, I can see tons and tons of sage. I can see thyme. I can see rosemary. Don't know what that is. Is that marjoram? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff going on in there. There's an apple tree, I believe, over there that looks like it's starting to bloom. There's some rhubarb down there. Over there, a lovely little cherry tree that's got some things, some fruit growing already, but it's, it's early days. But this, I'm particularly excited by. Because I think, I'm no expert, I think these are going to be grapes. Hopefully edible ones. If not, making wine. We'll see. So this is the garage and I'm very excited by this space. Now we're not going to be keeping the insignia here. You can't tame a supercar like that in a garage. It has to be left out on the driveway out there. But I'm excited for two things. One, the storage potential. And also, I feel this is the kind of garage where I can become more manly and make stuff or fix things. Things I just don't know how to do at the minute. I can see myself a little workbench here, carving stuff from wood or potting things or just useful skills I don't have. Hey there, just taking a break from looking around my sick new mansion to hydrate thanks to our video sponsor, Air Up. Air Up puts the fun in fully functioning internal organs by turning pure water into magical flavoured water. Here's how it works. You fill the air up bottle with still or sparkling water, pop in the straw mouthpiece, then attach one of many different flavours of scent pod. You then activate the scent pod by pulling up gently and drink away. You are drinking pure water, but the scent pod tricks your brain into thinking you're drinking flavoured stuff. I'm currently enjoying Air Up's new Yuzu Rosemary Scent Pod, which has a lovely citrusy, sort of rosemary, fresh taste. Beautiful for hot weather like this. If you want to try Air Up yourself, don't you worry, because we're sorting out with 10% off at the Air Up web store, off of bottles and starter kits. Just use the code MEGAROBBY, that down there, at the web shop, using the link in the description, and you get your money off. So go on. Click on it now. You support the channel and get better tasting water. A great deal. Now, back to my fancy new mega pad. So this is the biggest room in the house. It is the living room. Its primary function will be to be a venue for my annual FIFA tournament. We're gonna have a TV over there, although there is a radiator in the middle of the wall, so that's gonna cause problems. This room is what my wife is calling the snug. I don't really know what that means specifically, but it's gonna be a separate room with a TV on, we've inherited a TV, we might replace it with a different one, I don't know. And some kind of, what I'm gonna call a day bed over there, basically meaning it's like a sofa, but when people come to stay over, there's an extra bed for visitors and all that. This is the downstairs bathroom facility, a sink over there, a toilet for urinating and defecating in, and a shower as well, if you wanna have a shower, downstairs, perhaps if you're staying in the guest room. It's also got whatever this is. Towel rail. This room I'm very excited about because it is my office, the hub of my YouTube empire. My desk is gonna go up to where the camera is now in front of me, which will give this nice backdrop for me to do streaming and other such pursuits, editing and all those sort of things like that. So we can get a nice little background there. I might get rid of those shelves, potentially. This is another room I'm very, very excited about. The kitchen has been newly redone by the previous owner, not us, but it looks absolutely fabulous. Nice and spacious, nice and light. Possibly a return to the cooking live streams or certainly more cooking related content in here. There's also loads of uh, pantry space down there in the utility room. I'm gonna show you in a second. And we're gonna have a little fridge that will go there. Nice. This is the utility room, which has never been a room I've had in a house before, so I'm very excited by the potential. An extra sink, 
We're doing sinky stuff over there. Got a washing machine, gonna have a tumble dryer in there as well for winter time emergency drying. Uh, we've got cover space, a few bits here, but I'm really excited about these vast pantries here that we can use to store lots of food in and stuff like that, and all the ingredients that we need really for a glorious kitchen food experience. Also, we're gonna do um, the ironing here in the mornings because I quite like doing iron before everyone else is up. So this room is the master bedroom. A uh, nice little living space, a little sort of side of almost dressing area through there and, uh, and uh, the only ensuite in the house. Probably should be my own beds. Unfortunately, Kitty, my daughter, has stolen it and I think it's probably best that she approaches teenage years to give her her own little space. So this is gonna be our main bedroom for myself and my wife. Uh, not as extensive as Kitty's, but probably larger as a space, but also massive amounts of wardrobe space, which we have, uh, really do require. So overall, quite pleasant. Nice little views of the garden. I'd say, some lovely wardrobe space. My youngest son, Arlo, has never had his own bedroom before. He's always shared with Otto. So this could be a very exciting for him to get his own bit of space in this bedroom. Otto's new room. He's looking forward to this thing. He's got a lot of cupboard space in here, but to be honest, they're not in the best state of repair. So there is a possibility that we might remove them, get an extra foot and a half of space for the young lad. Just get a normal wardrobe in. A lot of options, a lot of options, a lot to think about when you buy a house, isn't it? What are you gonna do? Will you regret it? Hopefully not. This is gonna be the guest bedroom. By that I mean when we have guests come to stay, not for the 90s go model, Joe Guest, who doesn't have our own room in this house, I'm sure elsewhere. She does, it's not worth dwelling on that. Uh, but yeah, we a decent sized space, put a double bed in here. People come along, they can just stay here, relax, enjoy the famous Knox hospitality. So that concludes the tour of our awesome new house. We're very excited about it. Uh, give me a lot of house related video content coming in the future. We've got a couple of weeks of getting rewired, a little bit of decorating we should be in three or four weeks or so, and then there's gonna be all sorts of content there. What will happen in the garage? What will we make in there? Probably nothing. What will we cook in the kitchen? Probably beans on toast. Lots of options, lots of things out there. And I'm gonna say now, if we get seven likes on this video, I'm gonna do a shed renovation video. Breathtaking stuff, breathtaking stuff. Don't know how to renovate a shed. We'll cross that bridge we come to it. Thanks for watching and thanks to Air Up for being legendary sponsors of the video, as usual. Uh, code down there for 10% off at the web shop. Uh, cheers for watching. Back very soon with another video. Now get out. Out you get. Get out of my house. That's what they did on MTV, wasn't it? Do you like it?